Tomlinson joins us now to answer some of your medical questions. Thanks for being here. It's nice to be here today. Beautiful day. Beautiful day to be here. Now, our first question tonight, we are currently in National Migraine Awareness Month. Okay. It's June. <laughs> I know. Learn something wow. new every day. The question is, what is a migraine and how do you know if you have them? All right. Well, migraines are, are spasm of the temporal artery in, 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 here in the forehead. Now, a lot of people will say any bad headache is a migraine. It's kind of controversial, but the point is that, um, that it's a specific kind of headache where you get spasm, uh, a vasospasm. Tension headaches, uh, headaches from uh, illnesses and so forth aren't called migraines. Sometimes you have an aura with migraines where you get neurologic symptoms, nausea and vomiting, uh, numbness, visual disturbances, and then followed by the headache. Well, here's the million, million dollar question. How do you get <laughs> rid of it once oh, you right. have it? Well, uh, typical pain medicine is Excedrin migraine, which is really Tylenol, and caffeine is, is a common remedy. Sometimes patients will have to take a step up and take a narcotic like Vicodin. There's medicines called triptans, which are really active against migraines. And then the new thing on the block is Botox, because it's spasm of the uh, muscles that cause spasm of this vessel in, in the uh, head. And so Botox injections uh, there at the forehead about every three months has been okay. shown to be effective also. All right. And our next question tonight, with the recent hepatitis contamination of some yes. organ berries, we just did yeah. that story. Mm -hmm. uh, what actually is hepatitis A and what are some of the symptoms? Well, hepatitis A, if you have to have hepatitis, that's the best one to have because it's uh, it's a viral illness. It's self-limiting, nausea, vomiting. You get jaundice because it sets up shop in the liver. So you have li elevated liver function tests and jaundice. And, and uh, typically it runs its course after a week or two. There is a vaccine for hepatitis A, but since it's a virus, there's no antibiotics that will be active against it. So it's treatable, but is it something that you're going to live with for the rest of your no, life? No, no. Unlike hepatitis B and C, hepatitis A does run its course, it goes away, and uh, and uh, never to be seen okay. again. And then you're no longer, you're more susceptible to it again? No, or? Yeah, you have immunity okay. to hepatitis A. So you can oh, get the vaccine. If it. you're going to go to an area that's endemic uh, in the third world, sure. for instance, and pa pa folks will get in the, the actual vaccine. All right. Thanks, Dr. You Dan. Bet. And Dr. Dan joins us each Monday to answer your medical questions. If you have one, you may write or email them at the addresses on your screen. You may also post the question on our News 10 Facebook page. We'll be right back with more News 10 at 5.